Hi, Fashion Hotline. Hi, spring's finally here, and my family needs fresh spring looks now. Get to Old Navy. Old Navy? Yep, it's the first big sale of spring with 40% off all dresses, all tees, and all jeans. 40% off all those styles? Yes, all dresses, including new silhouettes and stripes, dots, and linen, are on sale from just $15 for women, $12 for girls, and tees from just $5 for adults and kids. I can't wait to spring for those. Then buy online and pick up in store for free. Springing into action now. Hurry into Old Navy and OldNavy.com for 40% off all dresses, tees, and jeans. Vow 327 to 44. Excludes in-store clearance, active men's packaged and licensed tees. This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 1418, and I'm Jeff Alpin, the big game hunter, and I've been running this show now for what feels like a hundred years. Well, maybe half a century. I did recruiting for what felt like a hundred years. And today's show is one where I answer a question, how do you treat a bad recruiter? Boy, this makes me crazy. Hope you find it helpful. Hope you give it a great review. And the weekend is coming up. And I'll just simply say, use it well. Visit my website at some point, thebiggamehunter.us. Go exploring there in the blog. I've got tons of great information there that'll help you find work more quickly. Now, let's get going. I received this question from someone, and I just shake my head when I read it. The question again is, how do you treat a bad recruiter? Now, I don't know what this person means by a bad recruiter. I normally associate people's thinking of a bad recruiter as someone who doesn't get them an interview, or doesn't get them a job, or doesn't return phone calls, etc., etc. I know there were people who thought of me as a bad recruiter, and I thought of them as bad candidates, but I digress for a second. I'll simply say, I don't know what a bad recruiter is. If it's one of the above categories, maybe you play a part in this, you know? Maybe you submitted a resume that doesn't fit a job. Maybe they wouldn't submit you to a job that you really want to be submitted to because you weren't qualified. But you think of them as bad because they didn't listen to you. You see, you don't pay most recruiters anything. You know, know, unless you're in a a lower uh, echelon position, Fees are being paid by employers. They work for the employer. They don't work for you. Now, if they were rude to you, if they were abrupt to you, I always ask, was it there something that you did that evoked that? Maybe they had a bad day, but whatever it is, to ask the question, how do you treat a bad recruiter? Didn't your parents teach you anything about manners? They may be obnoxious, but that doesn't mean that you have to go there. Uh, And I'll simply say, that for most individuals, you know, it's far better to think long term. And I just remind you that for someone like me who worked in search for more than 40 years, I had a long memory. I remembered a lot of things that people said and did, and they've become the basis for some of the videos and podcasts that I've done. And, you know, there are people I wouldn't submit to jobs because they just were obnoxious, and I couldn't tell how they would act with a client of mine. So you're always far better to simply say, hey, look, I'm not interested in making your job change right now. Uh, And stay in touch from time to time if you hear about something, because after all, again, I'm going to detour here for a second, the person who gets ahead isn't always the smartest to work the hardest, although those are great qualities to have. The person who gets ahead is the one that that remains alert to opportunities. Sometimes they're internal to their organization, more often than not they're external. So you never want to be offensive to a recruiter because you never know when they'll learn about a position and want to consider you for a search. Why would you turn them off? Now again, I don't believe you need to go job hunting with recruiters, but if someone approaches you about a role, why would you ever be offensive to them? Why would you ever consider that it might be anything uh, that you should treat them in any other way than with the same respect that you want to be treated with? It's bizarre to me that people actually think that this is a question that requires any sort of attention. You treat everyone in your life with respect, you demonstrate excellence in your behavior, and lo and behold, great stuff comes back to you. 
So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways to get even more from me. First of all, visit my website, www.thebiggamehunter.us. I have several thousand blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated my information with a focus on interviewing. If you have a few questions, contact me through the Magnify app for iOS. That's Magnify with an I at the end or PrestoExperts.com where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at LinkedIn.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, speaking with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help with a salary negotiation, my trusted advisor services, as well as scheduling me through for Magnify or for PrestoExperts.com. Like you, I don't work for free. You can also take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands of courses, not just simply mine. It is a great resource in a variety of different areas. Subscribe to my other podcast, which is called Job Search Radio. This one is number one in Apple Podcasts. Job Search Radio is number two. Subscribe to both. You will get great information seven days a week from this show, six days a week from the other. Lastly, I want to encourage you to join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 500 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're building a supportive group there to provide advice and counsel during difficult times. Again, the group on Facebook is called Career Angles. I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Be great. We deliver tickets, t-shirts, and everything you need to rock. But what you really get is so much more. FedEx Delivery. Passion. What we deliver by delivering. Want a more beautiful lawn this season? The Home Depot has a few suggestions in one bag. Scott's Turf Builder Triple Action, starting at just $26.68. It feeds your lawn, it weeds your lawn, and it prevents crabgrass for up to four months. Three of the most common lawn problems, one great solution. Today is the day for doing with Scott's Turf Builder Triple Action, starting at just $26.68 a bag. Now at the Home Depot, more saving, more doing, while supplies last Continental U.S. only.